Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today I'm going to build a Matilda too. Something something waltzing Matilda. Get it because I'm Australian? <laughs> if it wasn't obvious, the Matilda 2 in question is the 15mm scale, or if you prefer, 1 100th scale, plastic snap kit from Zvezda. On the back of the box, we see the usual bits of information and a couple of pictures of the built but unpainted model. There's also an exploded diagram that would function as assembly instructions. Inside the box, there are two sprues moulded in a tan coloured plastic. I guess this colour is to somewhat represent a desert colour scheme. After all, the Matilda 2 was the queen of the desert. Anyway, the parts in this kit are very few, and they're quite simple. This is an older Zvezda kit so it doesn't quite stand up to their newer stuff detail wise, but it's not bad, especially when you consider that this is a gaming piece. So it certainly isn't going to be all that satisfying as a display piece, but it will be easy to tell that it represents a Matilda 2 on your gaming table, and that is the point. There's also the usual bit of paper which, on one side, has some information about Zvezda's game Art of Tactic, for which this model is intended. The other side has the instructions, which as you can see, are some very simple diagrams. It's a simple model, so simple instructions is really all you need. Let's now use those instructions to assist us in gluing some bits of plastic together. It's a snap kit Herbert, you don't need glue. It might surprise you to know, but I am well aware of this. But I do prefer using glue so that it all stays together and gaps will be minimised. The first thing I glued was the middle hull part to the lower hull part. The guide pins are very helpful in guiding these parts together, which I guess you would expect a guide pin to do that wouldn't you? It did of course take a little bit of pressure, which isn't surprising, because if you don't use glue the kit relies on the friction that necessitates that pressure to stay together. Yes we know how snap kits work Herbert. Is that so? The next thing to add is the tracks. These go into place nice and easily. In addition to the mounting pins, there are some big flat areas where contact will occur that you could add glue to for some more strength. The tracks, or really I guess it's a whole side part, and it does look like a Matilda, but the detail certainly is a little bit lacking. Like I said before, it works well enough for its purposes, which is as a gaming piece. On the hull rear, I glue the rear, as one does. The part sort of slots downward into the keying for it. It's quite simple, and now we've got a Matilda 2 butt, which is the technical term. The upper hull goes into place next, and obviously it goes together easily. The guide pins are helpful, as there's enough glue to please the glue god, and a reasonable amount of pressure. There are still some gaps along the sides, and those wouldn't be too hard to fill with putty, but for this kind of model I'm not so sure the gaps are that big an issue. At any rate, that's the hull completed, so it's turret time. And this is one of the more simple turrets I've encountered. Sure it's not one piece simple, but it is very simple. It consists of three parts. The frame, I guess, that goes around the gun mantlet, and this did need quite a bit of pressure to get it into place, which was kind of difficult to do while trying to avoid pressing on the guns. The third part is the commander's hatch. There's a couple of thin protrusions that link into the back of the cupola here, and it's really easy to get into place, as you can probably see. And now that the turret is completed, it goes on top of the hull, which when you think about it makes quite a bit of sense. There's no locking tab mechanism here, unfortunately, but the friction should hold the turret in place quite nicely. The turret didn't seem to want to sit all the way down onto the hull, and I thought I could fix this by cutting down the mounting hole pole thing but it didn't seem to make much of a difference. I don't suppose it matters a whole lot, what matters is the turret is in place, and the Zvezda 15mm scale Matilda 2 is now completed. And for what it is it doesn't look too bad, obviously it's not even close to a super detailed display model, and if you bought this kit expecting that kind of thing, well I don't know what to tell you. It isn't bad if you're looking for a simple representation of a Matilda 2, it's all about perspective. It does have a couple of big holes in the front that look as though something should be mounted in them, though there wasn't anything like that included on the sprues. All the parts, except the flag, were used. And you can see those holes in the picture on the back of the box, so I guess they're meant to be there. I kind of want to know why though. 
I don't think it's something to worry too much about, and like the gaps along the side of the hull, you could easily fill them with putty if you want. This isn't old as a Vesta snap kit, and its level of detail is about what I would expect for those, like the Panzer IV or Panzer 38T kits, both of which I've built in the past, and both of which didn't have all that much detail. I don't think it's a bad thing, it's just the way they are, and again, they are primarily intended as gaming tokens, which is a role they perform very well. Obviously if it's a deal breaker for you, the thing to do would be not buying this kit, I guess. If you are looking for a Matilda 2 in 15mm scale, I do believe there's a resin model from Battlefront that's probably a little bit better in the detail department. I can't say for sure though, I don't have one. Beyond that, there doesn't seem to be much available in this scale, though in fairness I didn't search especially hard, and I would be happy to be incorrect. Anyway, I might be waffling a bit too much now. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below. If you've built one of these or any other cool models and you'd like to share, why not drop by our friendly Discord community and show us some pictures? That would be rad. If you want to watch me build models like this one live on stream, head on over to my Twitch channel and give me a follow. There's a link in the description below. If you've not already done so, why not subscribe here on YouTube for the low low price of absolutely nothing. Or if you have the means, and you want to help a herpaderpaderp do herpaderpaderp things, and see my videos a bit early, consider becoming a patron. You can find links to Patreon and all my other things like social media in the description below. And as always, I shall return soon. So until then, be excellent to each other, have a glorious day, and thanks for watching. Farewell.